This is a further demonstration of um, how we can use vectors. It doesn't matter if they're two-dimensional, three-dimensional, but how we can use vectors to solve problems in terms of real space. So we want to find out how far along these lines is the point P where they put us. N and M are both midpoints of the various of the sides of the triangle. So let's first of all find the vector A N. And vector A N is going to be the vector of A to O plus the vector O to N. So we're adding together and this middle lobe disappears. A to O is minus OA. And ON you can actually find as being half of um, OB. Half OB. So it goes B over 2. A we know is a vector A, so we can say this vector from A is minus A plus B over 2. Now, to make the algebra simplest, remember we started at the apex of the triangle and we're moving towards the midpoint. So the same idea should also happen, start at the apex and we want to move towards the midpoint when we come to finding our vectors. So I want a vector OM. So the vector OM I can do as being OA plus a half AB. And we need to think AB is uh, a to O plus O to B. A to O is minus O A. And O A is minus A. And O B is B. So we can now put this into our expression. O A is A plus one half A B, which is minus A plus B. Simplify the expression and we get one half of A plus B. Now this result is actually quite, um, should actually ring a bell and go, oh, of course we should have known that one straight away because the vector A plus B completes a parallelogram. So to get out to this point on the opposite end of the parallelogram, we've done A plus B. And that gives me that outside. A lot of questions come up with parallelograms, and it's because of this. If you've got one side, two sides which start at the same point, when you add them together, you can get the point in between. Anyway, let's go back to our... Let's find out what's happening. So to find ON... Uh, OP, we've got two equations. We've got OP is some fraction, lambda, of AN. But it's also some other fraction of the fraction, vector OM. That gives me two ways of finding, getting to this root. It doesn't matter what the roots are, as long as they are equivalent, then we've got a, a position well, OP is mu. That's an apex, one apex equation. And I need the other one, which is uh, OA plus AN times some number. So OA plus lambda a n. So it goes up to this, goes up to the apex and then comes some length down. This first one didn't have to go anywhere because we're already at R and it's going from the apex.
Okay, so now let's not look at rearranging all of this and solving. So OM, we've got mu times a half of A plus B is equal to OA, which is vector A, plus some value lambda times AN, which is minus A plus B over 2. And assuming A and B are not parallel, the only way this can happen is if we uh, we allows us to uh, assuming that A and B are not parallel, we can resolve in directions A and B separately. Uh, it's a bit like using I and J as separate vectors. Um, any vector space can be defined by a parallelogram or a parallel a pipe head in three dimensions and if it's cut using some form of Cartesian equations. So we can equate the vector parts with A. So I've got mu over 2 is equal to 1A minus a lambda. Vector B gives me a mu over 2 and that is equal to uh, just a lambda over 2. So if you substitute this in, we're actually saying mu and lambda are the same. So we've got lambda over 2 equals 1 minus lambda rearrange and we get 3 halves of lambda equals 1 which tells me that lambda is 2 thirds and that's quite significant because it's a aim for any triangle go from the apex to the middle you will find a crossing point in the middle which is 2 thirds of the way and it shouldn't take too much to realise that if I do the third side that will also correspond to find this centre. So we've just proven algebra, using algebra and vectors that one middle of a triangle is two thirds of the way from an apex to the middle on the opposite side. And that actual point um, is actually the centre of mass. If you were to do this for a uniform object, it's the centre of mass for a triangle. Not that you need to prove it or know it, but it's a handy thing to know uh, in shapes. It's a useful thing.